Alright, for our last video we showed you how to update the transmitter to the latest version of OpenTX and we have that right here. This video we're going to show you how to download SD card files and how we can get proper firmware on the SD card so that we can utilize the full functionality. It's just basically going to give us a lot more options than what the standard transmitter have. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and power it down. All right. I'm going to show you where the SD card resides. In this bottom channel right here, there is my little SD card right there. It is a spring socket, so you just press it in and it pops out at you. And I have the SD card right here. So one of the options is you can connect via USB to the computer and transfer files directly to the SD card inside of the transmitter. But I have found it more efficient to just take it out and plug it into one of these plug it into one of these SD card readers that way it goes direct to the source and it transfers at an extreme rate a lot quicker than if I just left it in there so let's hop onto the computer and show you what you do to transfer files alright and again we're gonna start at opentx.org we're gonna click on that downloads at the very top of the website here when it opens up to downloads we're gonna find the download or the firmware that we just installed on our QX7 which is 2.2.1 for this we're going to scroll down and we're going to find SD card content right here download link so we're going to click on the SD card it's going to load up we're going to find our version of Tyrannus transmitter that we have which is the X7 we're going to click on it and I'm going to find the latest version that is available so it's going to be this version 0013 it was dated 17 December 2017 so I'm going to go ahead and download that it's going to download a zip folder and you're going to want to place that where you placed all your other files for the Tyrannus. So it's just going to drop right into my OpenTX folder that I created upon download of the Windows installation. Let's go ahead and navigate down to where we are downloading that file. So it downloaded SD card into the OpenTX folder here and you're going to want to right click on it and we're going to extract all this is going to open up it's going to extract in the file path that we are already located in as you can see I've already done this prior to this video so we have it there we're going to go ahead and click extract it's basically going to unpack all the files and folders and place them nice and pretty in the same file structure it's just going to be an open folder alright and since I already have it there I'm going to say just go ahead and replace it all now that we have extracted all of our folders it'll open up in the file directory that we chose and these are all the files that we're gonna have to highlight and transfer not to our controller we're not gonna transfer this to our controller what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this to our removable drive that we just placed in that reader okay so what we're gonna do is select the bottom one or select the top one we're gonna shift click we're gonna highlight all of the files and folders that we just extracted and we're gonna drag and drop them over to our removable disk this is again it's going to take some time to transfer but we're going to transfer it directly to the SD card and from there once we have all the files downloaded we're going to take our SD card we're going to remove it from the reader and we're going to place it back in our QX7 alright I sped it up just a bit for you guys there basically what it's doing is taking a lot longer to load now but it is about done transferring the files over to our SD card. Alright from here we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove our SD card from the slot and we're going to place it inside the transmitter. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that the file download is complete we're going to open the back bay again. We're going to slip our SD card right back into the transmitter making sure that we get the click sound. Let's go ahead and fire up the controller. Welcome to OpenTX and we have voice it's that easy now you can go in you can store additional models that you may have you can have extra additional features that are open to you we'll be covering that in future videos but I just wanted to go ahead and get this out of the way so we know how to install our files to the SD card thanks for watching this video if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so thanks for watching this video we'll see you next time